Welcome to Let's Play Xevious. Hopefully, that is a good level for the music. Alright. Now, I've been playing Xevious for a while. Never really been dedicated to a high score. Um, you can see up there, 52,000. That's probably my all time high score. I've been playing all day. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm playing about 4 hours, I guess. So, got a little practice. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go through. See how far we can get. Now I have it set on normal, but I do have as many lives as possible, and I have extra lives as easily as possible as the game allows. Uh, I believe it's one at ten thousand, and then at every fifty thousand points after that. So yes, this is Zevius. You are a one-man fighter pilot. Blowing shit up. Um, things on the ground generally give you more points, not always. Generally give you more points than the, these little flying saucers. Which are, I believe, the shock troops of the Zevians, the invading forces. This game, hugely popular in Japan, pretty popular in America. Uh, I remember there was a machine in my college arcade. There's a machine by my girlfriend's house. Uh, that I still play. So, you know, still around. It was it's on the Namco collections, specifically the 50th anniversary collection that I play quite a bit on my PlayStation 2 still. <clears throat> I guess my first experience with Xevious probably wasn't the arcade game, but the NES port, which seems pretty faithful in my memory, although the aspect ratio, I'm sure, is different. It being optimized for TV, I prefer the arcade ratio, especially for a vertical scrolling shooter. You have a little more time to react and shit. So those moving tanks on the ground that I just missed, uh, those give you 800 points, and those are really good to get. There are secrets. Uh, so far, I've you know, struggling to stay alive and haven't really been able to get the flags or, or the citadels, which supposedly give you fuck tons of points. You're pretty slow, your ship, and you don't get any upgrades to your weapons, as you might have noticed. But the game is relatively balanced for those restrictions, so even though it's tough, it's a fun challenge. And the name of the game, of course, is Points. Well, the name is Xevious. The object is Points. This part's really boring. A lot of people really like those... these little walls flying at you. I don't know. Pretty dull. And we just blew up. Now, MAME does have an option to switch the monitor to like an arcade monitor. And I tried it out. I'm just going to use it. But my monitor's colors went strange and got all rainbowed and gray. And it didn't seem like the monitor was enjoying it, so I switched it back to regular. So if you're on a CRT, I can't really recommend taking advantage of that main option. I don't know, you might want to try it out. It's pretty cool. I've done it for the with the TV for Ikaruga for the Dreamcast to get a little bigger viewing area. But uh, it's not really necessary in Xevious. And the music that's been playing so far, this is Girl Talk's All Day album. It was playing in the background of my Miss Pac-Man video, which was recent. Sorry, it got a little hectic there. And that guy's worth 2,000 points, I think. Or 1,000, something. I'm sure you can look at the video and tell. I am talking and recording live. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the button presses or not, probably.
You should subscribe! I don't know, everyone says that on YouTube. I don't really care about subscribers too much. Yikes. I'm more interested in the one or two gamers out there who are going to be interested in Xevious still. To me, that is more important. And this is the little intro area for the first boss. Uh. He is a beast. Not the first boss, I guess, but the first mothership. Looking at an FAQ, there are three of them. And I'm probably going to get my ass kicked here repeatedly. Yeah. going to do my best to get as many points as possible, even though I've already died. Not give up, because it is a tough game, and I think part of the reason why there aren't too many videos on YouTube is because it's so difficult. So. And the game does have hard and harder settings. Um, the game's hard enough as it is. If you want to make it harder. Ah, uh, Miss Two is good. It doesn't really matter. And I got another Salavalu. Or Salavu. Alright. Don't get hit. Easier said than done. Motherfucker. A little better that time. My last Salvalu have reached the high score, so that's kind of cool, but still disappointing if I don't beat this boss. Oh, but yes, one interesting feature is if you get almost through a segment, it just goes ahead and launches you into the next segment. So, it's not really beating the boss. One time I've got past that guy by just like not firing at him, and he just flies away. But he's probably worth a bunch of points. So. Oh well.
go damn still almost 30,000 more than my last score so that's pretty cool not too bad um. <clears throat> all right let's uh let's go for one more game see what happens let's put the credit in and here we go I stopped talking there for a while, obviously, because I was trying to concentrate. Still in short, I don't know. That boss, I saw a video on YouTube where a guy just bombed the center of it, and that's what I've been trying to do, but he shoots so many bullets, it seems impossible to get that close and bomb it. I don't know. There's supposed to be a citadel there. I haven't been able to make it appear. Damn it. This is, of course, the area before the mothership. Uh, it will become infamous in your mind after hours of playing Xevious. And then the black thing as well soon, the black thing. Oh damn it, that is not the area. It's a copy pasta. The coolest part of the album, of course, is the most boring part of the game. Ah, but that was worth a lot. Motherfucker, I'm ill. Fuck up, I'm ill. C.O.B. 
Damn, take that pyramid. I'm destroying your entire civilization, Peru. I have no idea why they decided to invade Peru. That's where those giant drawings are. Now, a lot of people don't like playing on main, but uh, right now I'm actually playing on. Wait one second. Okay, it's a little better. Um, I'm playing on a Logitech controller, and they make some shitty controllers sometimes, but this one has held up pretty well for several years, so. It was like $10. God. Um, so I recommend it. I don't recommend any Logitech controller with analog joysticks. Absolutely not. Those break so fucking fast, it's not even funny. I'm sure you probably already bought one for like 15 bucks and had it break. But, the Logitech controllers without the joysticks, just with like a D-pad, it's basically like a Super Nintendo, well really it's like a PlayStation 1 controller except a little more ergonomic. Um, it's kind of my computer controller of choice, even though it doesn't have joysticks, just because, I don't know, it was 10 bucks, and I'll put the wear and tear on it. I also have, and highly, highly recommend, a PS2 to USB adapter. I mean, it's about the easiest thing you could buy, and you get to hook your PS2 controllers or your PS1 controllers up to your PC, which is of course awesome, and so if you really want a joystick and you really don't want to play with um, you know, a D-pad, which I think a D-pad is fine for CVS to be honest, you can't move that fast to really require. Honestly a keyboard I think would be fine, although I guess pushing And my cell phone is ringing, so... Oh well. Oh! Suck it, mothership! Finally! I don't even care if my score is higher, I'm just glad I beat that motherfucker finally. When you pass a little forest like that, that is a level. So that's cool. It's nice and seamless. I like it. There's no text. It's like level complete. Let's calculate your score and start over. It's just like Xevious. You will play it. And you will not stop playing it until you die. And then you will give us more money. And then you will Oh, thank god I earned a salt balloon. Alright, and I'm gonna just shut up here and play the rest of this game out. Bouncing, they like the 
the way I be leaning All the robbers be hating Hope the track that I'm making But all the hustles they love it Just to see one of us make it No! To the bottom, to the top of the pots Nigga, London, Still, Japan, I need the mothership the and I'm happy like with that. Back, get it, man, I'm straight off the block. I can run it back. So you keep five high block. scores, which is nice. Anyway, that's about it. I'm going to answer that cell phone call, upload these videos to YouTube. It's already a 20-minute video. Peace out.